Welcome to this orientation course on communicable diseases. This is Dennis B. Maldo. What are communicable diseases? Communicable diseases, also known as infectious diseases or transmissible diseases, are illnesses that result from infection, presence and growth of pathogenic agents in an individual human or other animal host. Infections may range in severity from asymptomatic to severe and fatal. Pathogens. Pathogens refer to disease-causing biologic agents which include viruses, bacteria, fungi, protozoa, multicellular parasites, and aberrant proteins known as prions. Why is it important for us to know these pathogens? There are two important benefits we can have by knowing these pathogens. First, if we know the particular pathogen which cause certain form of sickness, we can determine how can this sickness or how can this pathogen be transmitted from one person to another or from one thing to another. And by this way, we can implement measures which can be used for us to avoid contacting or contracting these diseases. Another is medicine. If we understand what causes our sickness, we have an understanding of what particular medicine we can take in order for us to heal our sickness. But of course, it is important for us to consult our doctor before we should take any form of medicine. What are different ways of pathogens transmission? One is to direct physical contact with an infected person. What are examples of communicable diseases which can only be transmitted to direct physical contact. Uh, one example are sexually transmitted diseases. This kind of diseases can only be transmitted through direct sexual contact with an infectious person. Another is consuming contaminated foods or beverages. Foodborne diseases are the illnesses contracted from eating contaminated food or beverages. Illnesses include foodborne intoxications and infections, which are often incorrectly referred to as food poisoning. It is important for us to be very careful before we consume any food or beverages. Uh, this if these things are contaminated with bacteria, for example, this will surely cause certain form of sickness. Another is contact with contaminated inanimate objects. When diseases are caused by pathogens, which can be transmitted by from one person to another, it is possible also that that pathogen can be transmitted from that person to an object. Like for example, viruses and bacteria. This can be transmitted through tiny droplets when, for example, a person sneezes. Once we touch that object, which contain the tiny droplets, there is a possibility for us to acquire viruses or bacteria which can cause diseases. That's why we must be very careful before we touch certain form or certain object. Or if we cannot avoid touching object, we should avoid touching our eyes, mouth, knows after touching a particular object why this object may contain 
bacteria and viruses which may cause certain form of sickness. Another is airborne. A variety of disease-producing bacteria and viruses are carried in the mouth, nose, throat, and respiratory tract. Conditions such as leprosy, tuberculosis, and different strains of influenza can be spread by coughing, sneezing, and saliva or mucus on unwashed hands. Since bacteria and viruses are small organisms, these can easily transfer through air. So, for example, if there is a disease caused by a particular bacteria or virus, we must be very care careful in going near to a particular person. Why? Um, even if we don't have a direct contact with that person, tiny droplets containing viruses or bacteria may travel through air and may infect us with certain form of sickness. Knowing the pathogens which cause communicable diseases is an important step to fight diseases. We must use this knowledge in order to avoid contact with person or object that transmits the pathogen and to take the proper medication after consultation with our doctor.